Hey everyone, Kyle once again, and welcome back to another movie review and reviewing another 20th anniversary movie review. And next film for reviewing from 1998 for the 20th anniversary is the 1998 thriller film Desperate Measures, starring Michael Keaton and Andy Garcia. Now, I like the movie. I do have a few issues with it though, but overall I like the movie. Number one, Michael Keaton, I think he did a great job in this film. I think he played an excellent bad guy. As an end by Peter McCabe, who's his prisoner. Andy Garcia plays a cop. He's named by the name of Frank Connor. Uh, directed by Barbette Schroeder, who directed a single white female. Um... As for supporting cast, you got Brian Cox, who I like as an actor, and uh, Marsha Gay Harden from uh, from other movies. Like I said, I have some issues with the Belgian into why though. But I'll get to that in a second. But the film came out in January nineteen ninety eight. If the film flopped, for some reason it cost fifty million, which I couldn't see why this film, how this film cost fifty million, but it cost that much and made about thirteen million. So it was a so it was it was a flop. But yeah, yeah, the film flopped. Um, because everybody was flying to see well, everyone was flying to see Titanic during the time of it was being released, so but yeah. And the plot's fairly simple that uh, Andy Garcia he plays a cop uh, named Frank Connor and you see him in the opening um, he he goes he goes he illegally breaks into like FBI computers to find a don't a match for his son. And they will lead them to want this one uh, killer, who was a pr who was a prisoner, this ruthless killer by uh, Peter McKay, played by Michael Keaton. So he, you know, he goes and he, he talks to Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton has a good presence to him. He does a great job in this film. And he says no originally, but then when he asks to have to bring his son and to talk to him, then he says yes. And. And then Michael came and this before before when he was being transferred to the hospital, um, Michael Keaton does all these things preparations because he's because he's planned on to escape, and like he takes like this thing he, he tells um, he gets this little thing it was like an anti drug because when they're gonna put him out he can, he's like he's kind of like I go a little creature because he how the way he just like makes himself swallow it you know, and the way he coughs him try to make a cough back and when he breaks it so like when he breaks it and. That way he can counteract the drugs when they put him out. And then, like, he breaks his thumb. That way, when he gets restrained, he slips through the shackles. And he has a little thing where he takes up from his lighter and sucks the part, the ignite part. And Marcia Gay Harden, she's there as the doc, as, a, as the ner as the doctor. Um, she was pretty de she was decent. And Brian Cox, he plays the captain. Throughout the whole movie, he's, he basically has nothing much to do. I like Brian Cox, but he's just there just to talk a bit and stuff. But, um, that's kind of stuff because I like Brian Cox. But he's given nothing to do. And then, when it times to bring in the operation, Michael Keaton, he, like I said, he escapes and uses, like, now uses like a little flamethrower, burns a couple of people. And. I understand the whole part, this whole plot. I think it's, it, it, to anyone who's watched this film probably kind of figures a little bit convoluted because everybody's getting injured or even killed while all this part to save Hank Garcia's son. Like at the expense of people who got a couple of people got burned or people got held hostage or um, a cop and another cop got shot. One got shot in the head. One got shot down here. All this just to save uh, one kid's life. I just say that everyone who watches the film think that agrees kind of like that part of the plot is it's, it's the, how the script is, you know, just and it has, it's, it's kind of silly when you think about it though, but still. But, um, Michael Keaton is, but he, like I said, I'm best part of the movie is definitely Michael Keaton. He does such a great job. And he escapes and the whole, this whole chase with Andy Garcia and Michael Keaton and Andy Garcia trying to help him out because they need him alive. He wants him alive because if he shoot, if they kill him, it'll be no good. And that's it for his son. 
So that's why he needs him alive. And points he's where he helps out um, Michael Keaton. Um, and there. And Michael Keaton does, uh, does like do it. Still, his some of the lines of dialogue I enjoy. He has some fun with, and like where he gets with Mark, Marsha Gay Harden, and um, at, at, earlier because he asked her to use smoke, and and then he, he and he tells he's like, oh, was it um, you know, I'm trying, I'm trying to be a gentleman, and he which he which he finds reaches the pockets that she had a cigarettes on her, and he's like, I haven't been with a woman since you were a virgin. I'm trying to be a gentleman. I like you. <laughs> so, <laughs> Mel Keaton, he's ha me, he's having fun in the role. And or another war, or another part where um when a part where he gets to the part of the where he gets to the prison part, he holds the the, the prison warden hostage, which my previous review of Mighty Joe Young, where that guy I had supporting small supporting roles, Richard Riley. He's the prison warden. He holds him because he has like a needle of sulfuric acid, and he gets to the control room to control room to locks the place down, and and then Michael Keaton um he notices because there there's a there's an officer in the ceiling trying to get a good shot at him, and but he he, not, but he notices that and he shoots, and and uh, he's like what is that, what was that? And he's like just just a rat, just shot a rat, like you know. Yeah, I want to blow down a martini, but we're not going to get those things. So. But Michael Kinney, he, he delivers some good, some funny lines. Um, and the way he, he takes some of the hostages up to the roof, but he, he makes that as a different version. And Ray goes down and um, holds a shoot, holds um, Andy Garcia. And with his son, also as well, gunpoint, and um, but he takes his he takes his son with him to the point where he makes it to, this, to this wall where the the layer where the old prison is. So he cuts the wall down and uses it to escape. And he tells his son like tells him uh, Anna Garcia's son is like we're the same, you know, compat we're compatible. <laughs> so he escapes to the tunnels and takes steals a truck. He's listening to Proud Mary. On the radio, and then Andy Garcia reports where he takes takes a cop car and chases it. Um, Michael Keaton. There's someone on a freeway, which it wasn't much though. It's just well, basically one one part is where there's this large target truck sliding, and Andy Garcia gets out of the way of it. There wasn't much of a of a car chase right there. So, and then to the point where it gets on the bridge. And then they both face off each other, and then Andy Garcia takes a bullet for uh, for Michael Keaton, and but then he gets shot in the leg and falls off the bridge. What's that part? That could have been that could have been done way early in the film. Just if Andy Garcia doesn't want wants him alive, just shoot him in the leg, you know, and so that he he's in immobile to move, dis disable him. All oh, that could have been done within five minutes when he was first being um, escaping from the doctor's room. <laughs> Just shoot him in the leg. <laughs> so that way, all oh, that could have been over with. But oh, but he jumps in and saves him. Then he does oh, undergoes the operation. It was a success. The um, Andy Garcia's son will live, and Michael Keaton. And this is why I like the how it ended. Where. Um, Basically, he wins because he he was asking the guard if the boy was gonna be okay, and the guy said yeah, and then he takes the guard's gun and says, "What kind of car do you drive?" And that's it. So basically, he after that, I guess I guess that leads more up to his that he escaped again. So yeah, basically he 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 wins. It's, it's, it's usually for a bad. There's like been a couple of times in films where a bad guy wins, but yeah. Especially with Michael Michael Keaton, yeah, I'm there for it. But um, yeah. And also, I forgot to mention another funny thing with Michael Keaton when he was being transferred to the hospital. There were some do there were some police dogs, and and uh, Michael Keaton just goes with this, <laughs> or or ha, <laughs> just basically scares the dogs. <laughs>
That was a that was a funny scene right there as well. Michael Keaton, like I said, he, he's definitely the highlight of the movie. I enjoyed Michael Keaton. He did such a great job as a bad guy. That part where he played a bad good bad guy was in, was in Pacific Heights as well. But um, but Michael Keaton, great job in this movie. Andy Garcia, he he's there, but just the whole thing with um, the whole include the whole plot. Everyone's in harm's way because he needs all oh, because he needs to save his son. And also, Andy Garcia, I don't say that's the type of film for him, though, as well, but he does what he can. Marsha Gay Harn, like I said, she was decent. Um, Brian Cox, he, he basically doesn't, pretty much does nothing, though, because it sucks. I like him. I like him as an actor, though, but, um, um, but my, definitely the highlight thing is Michael Keaton. I like, I like some of the lines he, he got and that he says and got, got chuckles out of him. Definitely got a great presence, and I enjoy Michael Keaton. And the film, like I said, the film flopped, which is understandable, though. But um, as a, as a six point one on IMDb and as a seventeen percent on Rotten Tomatoes. But uh, that's not like the how, but also like how the end of where just the bad guy wins, basically. I like that. But um, yeah, desperate measures. Like I said, the whole plot is, is that everyone's put in harm's way over because he uh, he needs a. To say, Andy Garcia needs to save his son's life, but a cop got shot, and like one got, another one got shot here, and a couple of people got burned. <laughs> all this is all that all those people are injured or killed, all trying to save his son's life. Just all that to save one a life of one little boy, but <laughs> I know that I know some of the people think that that was silly though, but. Yeah, I understand that, but but overall, I still like the film. The best part, definitely the best part of the film, was Michael Keaton. He did such a great. Once again, I keep repeating myself, but he did such a great job. Uh, yeah. So there's not much to it though. So Andy Garcia, he's there, but you know, it's, just, it's not the type of type of film that he would be doing though. But I still, he, he worked with what he had to work with. But like I said, once again, Michael Keaton, he was just fun to watch. Definitely worth a watch for if you're a fan of Michael Keaton. Definitely. But yeah, that's the 20th anniversary reviewing of Desperate Measures. Um, I like I said, I still like the film. Definitely, definitely worth watching for Michael Keaton's great performance. Definitely, I give his performance two thumbs up. I really do. But yeah, that's, yeah, that's Desperate Measures. 20 years later, I still think, I think it's a a good thriller film. I still think it is, even despite the convoluted. Uh, things in the plot so but still <laughs> but yeah I, I still like the film and if you're a fan of Michael Keaton give this a watch you'll find a, you'll, you'll find a fun performance from him thanks for watching stay tuned on the next movie review